Here's a question that I think is really interesting. For what angles alpha, we have that the sine of alpha and the cosine of alpha are both, both rational numbers. Here's a different way of thinking about this question. For what pairs of rational numbers S and T is there an angle alpha such that the sine of alpha is S and the cosine of alpha is T so that both the sine of alpha and the cosine of alpha are rational numbers? Here's a way of thinking about this problem. Suppose that sine of alpha is S and cosine of alpha is T where S and T are rational numbers. Since we know that sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, we get that S squared plus T squared is 1. And if S and T are rational numbers, then there are integers A, B, C, and D such that S is A divided by B and T is C divided by D. And from this equation, we get that, well, A divided by B squared plus C divided by D squared is 1. And if I multiply through by B squared and D squared, then what I get is that AD squared plus BC squared equals AD squared, where now that's an equation of integers. And therefore, AD, BC, and AD is a Pythagorean triple. Conversely, if ABC is a Pythagorean triple, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And if I divide through by C squared, I get that A divided by C squared plus B divided by C squared is 1, and therefore, there is an angle alpha such that the sine of alpha is a divided by c and the cosine of alpha is b divided by c. So you can take alpha to be the arc sine of a divided by c where a, b, c is a Pythagorean triple and every angle with rational trigonometric values is of this form. This shows that the pairs of numbers, rational numbers s and t that can be trigonometric values, a pair of trigonometric values for the same angle, they all come from Pythagorean triples in this way. Moreover, Pythagorean triples can be parametrized with this formula for m and n integers, and if you divide through by m squared plus n squared, then you get a formula for the possible values of sine and cosine in terms of m and n, and if you divide farther by n squared, then you get a formula for the possible values of sine and cosine in terms of a parameter, a rational parameter t. What we've proved is that if sine of alpha and cosine of alpha are rational numbers, then they are given by this function in terms of a rational number t. Moreover, the tangent of alpha is given by this function of t, which is decreasing from infinity to minus infinity between minus 1 and 1. And what that means is that for any alpha, I can always find some other alpha prime for some rational value of t, such that the tangent of alpha and the tangent of alpha prime are as close as I want them to be. For that alpha prime and that value of t, the values of the sine of alpha prime and the cosine of alpha prime will be as close as I want them to be to the original values of sine and cosine, except that those will be rational values. For example, if I want to approximate the trigonometric values of pi over 6, then I can take the angle alpha prime that comes from the Pythagorean triple 120, 209, 241, and these sine and cosine are very close to the sine and cosine of 30 degrees. And in fact, the arc sine of this value is really close to 30 degrees as well. And don't get me wrong, this is a beautiful algebraic number, but it is an irrational number. And all I'm saying is that one can approximate these values by two rational numbers that are a lot easier to work with.